What's going on? Bill DeWeese here, pro voiceover talent and voiceover career coach. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but my T-shirt says it all. I'm staying cool. It was 17 degrees when I woke up this morning, so I certainly am staying cooler than I'd like, to be honest. Well, today I'm tackling a question that I receive quite often, which is this. What CRM do you use? And if you're not familiar with the acronym CRM, it stands for Customer Relationship Manager. Uh, it's a category of software program that is used very frequently in a sales and marketing environment. The purpose of the CRM, is it allows you to track important information regarding a client or prospective client. They tend to be used um, uh, a lot in corporate environments or wherever you have a number of stakeholders involved. For instance, if you worked with a team of people that you need to keep in the loop as to what you're going on and a sales manager. Uh, who wants to keep track of what you're doing to know where a possible opportunity is, what you project that amount or w the, the amount that you project that project will bring in, and then important information about the client, such as it keeps track, if you want to keep track of telephone conversations or email exchanges, or you just want to know the name of their spouse, their birthday, their kid's birthday, really whatever you want to keep track of, you can keep track of in a CRM. So you could see the usefulness of such a thing. And I have, I'm very familiar with CRMs. I have used them in my past life in corporate work. I've worked specifically with Salesforce, which is probably, Salesforce.com is probably the biggest, most well-known CRM out there. And I've also worked a lot with one called ACT. ACT followed by an exclamation mark. Back to the question. The question is, what CRM do I use in my voiceover business? The answer to that is, I do not use a CRM in my voiceover business. Now, let me explain. First of all, I'm not suggesting that, that you should not use one. And I say this quite frequently, and I'm very sincere when I say it, just because I do something, I'm not saying to do the opposite of that is wrong or bad, It's but I have very specific reasons why I do what I do, and I, I want to explain that so that hopefully it will help you to make an informed decision as to what you do. Um, what I do, I do keep track of clients, obviously, that would be very important to do, but I find a CRM just to be um, overkill. It's like, you know, taking a shotgun out to, to hunt for a, a small field mouse. It's like using Pro Tools for voiceover, in my opinion. It's just way more fire, I mean, great programs, just way more firepower than what you need in voiceover, at least for me and my purposes. Uh, what I use, I simply use Gmail to track things. So, uh, first of all, you have to you have to ask yourself, well, what kind of marketing do you, do you do and how do you keep track of information? What I have found is that almost all of my voiceover clients that I work with, it's a very, um, I guess for lack of a better term, it's very transactional. In other words, I have very few clients that are interested in having telephone calls or to chit chat or talk about life. Now, I do have ongoing clients that I do session work with in which we'll talk and we'll get to know each other a little better and we'll have some, some nice pleasantries that we'll exchange and ask about certain things at the beginning of a session because we've done this for a while, a year or years together, so we, we know each other. But for the vast majority, 98, 99% of everything that I do, it's very transactional and it's email-based. And with that being the case, at least for my business, with Gmail, I can track everything I need to know. I can track uh, my correspondences and, you know, the, the exchanges that I have with them. And even if I do something outside of email, which is rare, like a telephone call where we actually nail something down via phone, I could email myself within, within Gmail. Uh, I can make note of it within Gmail, and then I can always search it you know, by using a keyword like the client name or, or something like that. So again, for my purposes, I find Gmail to be more than adequate as a customer relationship manager. Now, the one, let me, let me just add this one additional thought. I have an overall arching philosophy of business that is, the, I want to keep things as simple as possible. I want as few moving parts as I can possibly have. Um, for one thing, it just makes life easier. It, it creates... The more, the more movement you have, unnecessary movement, it, it requires energy, which takes away from important activities like growing your business. So I'm not saying that I'm 100% perfect at this, but I work very hard at making sure that all of my movement, all of my energy that goes into my business is expended for a very specific purpose 
for a very specific outcome. One of the easy things, and I say this from experience in having a CRM, anytime you're doing any kind of sales or marketing work, and by, if you're in voiceover, you are doing sales and marketing work. I mean, that's, that's how you build a business. Uh, if you're, I mean, unless you're solely relying on an agent to do that. And if that's the case, then I wish you all the best of luck. But otherwise, you really have to go out and you have to, you know, have to hustle that work yourself, but you have to do it in a, in a, in a smart way. Anything that distracts, like for instance, let's say, for instance, having great audio is important in voiceover. And, and obviously to do that, you're going to need equipment that will get the job done for you. But if you have a preoccupation with equipment, it distracts you from doing the work you need to do, like getting better behind the microphone and the marketing and all the business that you need to do. That could, you know, so that, that ends up being expended energy that takes away from your net result. A CRM, and again, I say this from experience, I know it can be easy to, to spend time and you get a sense of satisfaction by filling out all the fields and keeping track of all of this information. In my experience, most of which was never even used. But, and it's easier to do that than it is to pick up a phone and make a phone call. It's easier than doing research online and sending an email. It's just sales and marketing work is harder than keeping track of data in a computer. And there is something satisfying about having all those fields all nice and neat in your CRM and putting all that information in there. I get it. I know that. But I try to resist the, the res, I resist the temptation of that and, you know, playing around with equipment and things that are fun, but, di, but distract me and keep me from getting the things done that get results. So I wanted to explain to you why, what I think about CRMs, how I use that whole idea and why I do what I do in, in hopes that it's helpful to you as you make those decisions. But the thing I would really strongly urge you to do is stay focused on what you want to accomplish and have systems in place and make sure all the activities that you do move you toward that goal as efficiently as possible. I hope you found the video helpful. If you do, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. You'll share, you'll subscribe. And don't forget, if you need help in growing your business, whether you're just launching or you're a ways down the road, but you feel like you're not getting the most out of it, it's not as profitable as you would like it to be, make sure to check out my VoiceOver Blueprint program. It's a coaching, training, and mentoring program. It is an all-inclusive, uh, robust, ongoing program with support. And to learn more, I'll put the link down in the description beneath this YouTube video, but you go to the website, theblueprintcall.com to schedule a free discovery call to learn more about it and find out whether it's a good fit for you or not. Again, thanks for checking out the video. We'll talk soon.